Hi Scorpio, I'm hoping you're doing well. Happy birthday to all of you guys. This is your November 2024 reading. I will do your birthday reading soon and that will focus on your solar return or for the year. Uh, so this is just for November. And I also will do your new moon um, in Scorpio reading, which is um, going to be done today after I complete your reading for November. So let's see. These are pretty general, just take this as guidance or insights, not just as predictions. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mars. What are the main themes? What are the possibilities? What is important for Scorpio to know from the first house through the 12th? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mars. What does Scorpio needs to hear? What is important? One more. All right. November 2024 from the first house through the 12th. What is important for Scorpio? The two of cups and the devil. What is keeping you apart? Fear, shadow part. There's the two of cups, which is beautiful, but the devil is coming. It was especially in this card, um, as someone that is afraid of their own shadow. Let's see. Yeah, there's the two of cups here. This is Mars in Scorpio, five of cups. It might be a situation here from the past. It feels like someone here is missing you. And I'm this... By the way, this reading, I'm going to um, mention finances, career, home. But it feels like for most of you here, it might be regarding an emotion or something here that has to do with the past. There's a wish fulfillment, a desire. But I don't know with the devil energy that you or whoever you're connecting that feels afraid to acknowledge this wish fulfillment, this desire. So let's see here. Okay, so how are you going to look at everything? Even, you know, how you take care of your body, your image, your will. This is beautiful. The Ace of Wands feels like you're going to feel like a spring kind of uh, time energy here. A boost. Um, like life begins kind of a situation. That's how it's coming in. A birth. Passionate. Exciting. It's just the beginning. So there, there's like this. And by the way, looking, I mean, at the new moon in Scorpio. <laughs> Uh, manifest, 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 guys. Um, that's how it seems, though. Like a new life, a new beginning. Starting fresh. But really, it's, it's giving that kind of springtime. All right, so financially here. Or there's some type of partnership here. And it might be that you're afraid with the Two of Cups. Or when it comes to, um, and it might be just celebrating, some of you might be celebrating finally that your finances or your values here are good. But again, it also is giving like kind of an energy coming together with a person. Mercury in Cancer. It's nurturing. It's loving. It's creative. And it might be a collaboration here with you and someone else when it comes to finances, possessions. If you've been waiting for something here to come in, it's coming. You'll be celebrating here. Okay, so your communication style will be direct, quick, intelligent, sharp. Or some of you will receive communication here in your day-to-day -day life, um, even environment here, or even siblings. Now, I'm going to clarify all of this because, again, I don't do reversals. And I want to see how the interpretation's uh, coming in. So just remember that. But for now, it feels like... Um, Direct, And I'm saying this because sometimes the Knight of Swords can be harsh in the way it delivers something. You might be feeling like I'm done with certain situations here. Very outspoken and on a mission. Clear here uh, in the direction when it comes to how you see things. Alright, the Hierophant in the fourth house feels good. Anything that has to be... Regarding home, family, emotional security here, property, um, where you belong. <clears throat> it feels like it has to do here with some type of knowledge, some type of divine timing. 
some of you may be dealing here with um, or government situations or you know you need to be wise about something here that um, is family related or property related that's what it feels like again there's this faith or something from the divine that is coming in all right guys it feels like there's new beginnings here for you two aces these are blessings, uh, these are confirmations, but also, again, these are new beginnings. This is in love. Now, for some of you, this might be regarding a creative situation. For others, it can even, because it's a, the house of children, it can be like a, a new baby <laughs> coming in. But most of you, it will be about love, romantic situations. There's this overflowing, outpouring kind of um, thing going on here. So it's beautiful. The Six of Cups in the Earth Houses of Taurus and Virgo. You guys are getting water. Anything that has to do with practical money, work, um, it feels like has this kind of energy here. Um, or not only familiar, that feels like something that makes you happy. I don't know if you're going back here. Um, to things that you used to love or you're going to find this emotional balance here with the right people but i'm going to concentrate one moment here regarding work or you know daily routine there's an innocence here there's something from the past or nostalgia or getting in touch with that inner child that's how i feel like uh, it might be also that you're getting together with someone here um, that you have known a long time to um, long time here coming together but emotions and nurturing um, are going to be important even how you make money and in your daily life here some of you again your situation will change and you will be happy though you feel like okay I'm, I'm good where I am this is what I want you're finding a balance Scorpio, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. The beginning here, and it feels like the happily ever after. There's new beginnings, but in your when it comes here to your tenth, to your tenth, I'm sorry, to your seventh house, um, which is about ideal partnership or your person, how you see this situation, you look at it that this this is it. This will make you happy. Now, this person might be looking at you as that as the the you know the happily ever after content bliss we have a family we're we're happy there's the vision now remember i said there was the two of cups and the devil before it was like this fear maybe regarding that wish fulfillment i don't know if it felt like is it just me do we both want the same thing yes now for some of you if you don't have anyone there's an opportunity and it will lead to marriage now, for everybody else, I feel like, again, you already know here that this person is your ideal partner. All right, so the King of Pentacles is very, very nice. Though this is a Scorpio house, the eighth house, and he's mo mostly here about depth and intimate matters, but also it's about shared resources and other people's money. Or this is you, and if you've been kind of um, looking at things when it comes to inheritance, uh, even you know if you're doing something that you feel you're in charge of other people's money here you're looking wealthy you're looking good uh, but for some of you this might be your person Taurus Capricorn Virgo again I have here Cancer so I have Air Pisces so please do not focus on that but this is the merging this is uh, and the King of Pentacles is a provider is someone here that wants long-term commitment you're looking really good. Let's continue. Let's continue here. And it might even be, I don't want to just focus on the gender. It might be you. And when it comes to shared resources, you feel like you have to be here more in control. It is a Scorpio, right? All right. So there's a little bit here of tension. And this tension and struggle might be because of your faith. It can be about education, it can be about your beliefs, it can be about long distance things. It might be also someone at long distance. It might be that you might find yourself here 
fighting or in competition or struggling here with all those areas, even higher education here, um, wisdom, as I mentioned before, it's part of the Hierophant. Be aware of that because you are surrounded by such a positive energy, Scorpio. It is your season. Look at the blessings that you guys have. Another ace, three aces, triple confirmation here. Again, new beginnings. Please, I say this, it's a very, very appropriate time. For you to write those wishes down. The Ace of Pentacles in the 10th house of prosperity here. That's how I see it because this is career, reputation, achievements. It can be someone that you're dealing with uh, that has some type of authority. But I feel like, again, this is new for you regarding career. Remember I said that when it comes here to your money, to your daily life work, you have this emotional support and balance. Why? Because now it feels like you're starting something new here when it comes to your career. Also, if you look at the King of Pentacles, is holding that Ace of Pentacles there. This is going to be abundant. This is going to not only be about a career, and it might be because of, you know, a, a person here as well, but also when it comes to this sharing, merging with this person. All right, the seven of pentacles in the house of aspirations, visions, goals, dreams, networking, um, friends. This is all those pentacles here, but now it's like, okay, I arrived at this place. I don't know if you kind of have a plan here and you feel like, okay, where is this going to go? I know that I need to work on my dreams. They need to be more, you know, or wishes here. Uh, more practical i need to invest so it's like the waiting here unless a, a friend is waiting for you as well and kind of looking and saying what's next what do i need to do here next but again with the intentions of rewards here so what <laughs> what is going on behind the scenes what you don't see he done um it can be even, you know, hidden enemies here. I'm not getting open enemies or hidden enemies. I'm getting that you are actually very, very blessed. But someone may be waiting for some of you with the three of wands. There's things that are going to happen sooner than you expect. Set those goals, those visions, those intentions here um, with the three of wands. But this is someone that feels like I can see the success. I can see it coming. I've been waiting. I've been anticipating here. With the Knight of Pentacles, again, you want something reliable. Or this is a person here that is coming towards you. And they're going to bring consistency here. Also, again, someone that is there long term. It might be you that you have a plan. And you feel like I'm going to go towards that plan. Meticulous, consistent. You know the pathway. It looks abundant. It can be regarding uh, work here as well. So... Let's see, guys. Let's see. Let's clarify. Um, and see for November. What else is coming in? But with three aces here and the three of cups that is coming in. I feel like bringing all those opportunities. And the three of wands expectations here. The threes are part of the empress. Creative. Abundant. more all right so what is this hmm, my ears were ringing so weird what is this ace of wands please what is this ace of wands oh wow okay it has to do with the king of pentacles Again, for some of you, joint venture, business. But for some of you, this is the beginning with a person here. This is someone that has had a plan and has been working on this plan. The Seven of Pentacles. Or, again, some form of business here or intimate matter. But it's going to lead to your happily ever after. This is just the beginning. And you are really hopeful.
that's the difference with, with the uh, all the aces again the ace of wands comes uh, in a way here quickly and out of nowhere um but it's surrounded by pentacles which is promising you longevity there's flowers by the way i don't know what kind of flowers are these i'm sorry um uh, but it is like some something that again has to do here with uh, birth. Someone has been working towards it. So trust it, trust it, Scorpio. This this person has a plan, or you have a plan that you feel excited and is going to take you to this prosperity. All right, so what is the Three of Cups, please? What is the Three of Cups? Not only that it feels like there's going to be with the Page of Pentacles, again, some form here, or of investment, or some money here, uh, support with the Ace of Swords here. Again, I'm getting something in an open way, positive way here. Uh, the idea, the... Um, clarity here even the pentacle by the way there's the pentacle here and there's a, like I, I feel like it's coming make a wish i'm telling you i keep getting that make a wish but this page of pentacles is someone that has been working i keep getting there's something that has been worked invested again that pentacle here that i feel like it's the beginning but with something here that you are, are bringing this creative or this partnership here together and he's like okay let's work towards it it's like we have one pentacles that is being carried here. The king of pentacles has one pentacles. The page of pentacles is looking at that and it's like there's this manifestation or magic here that is happening. But it feels like you have the right environment or the right opportunity to make this happen. All in the financial and when it comes here to what you value. All right, so financially here or um, when it comes to your talents, your skills, you will have the celebration or the people supporting it. What is the Knight of Swords, please? What is the Knight of Swords? One more. Okay, that's why. I feel like no matter what you're going to speak, but there's been a um, worry here. And again, going back to the devil, when it comes to this partnership here, I don't know if you feel like, do I have, um, I, I want to say here, um, the right plan, because I, I'm getting just to kind of tell you what I'm looking at. I feel like there's a, a, a master here or a mentor, and it feels like needs to teach or needs here to kind of open up and, uh, collaborate and someone is afraid is afraid if this is safe or if i should do it that's what i feel like the worry uh, is but i feel like this knight of swords is just going through all of that it's not holding back so i don't know if you feel like do i have the right to speak do i have the right to say something um it's like someone is like considering do i have the knowledge maybe because of a home situation here yes the knight of swords it feels like it's going to deliver no matter what. It's going to say something no matter what. That's what it feels like. If you have been worried about something will be created um, or something or a plan here or the, the master plan that you have had or the blueprint here kind of situation, you have been worried how to proceed. You needed maybe to kind of get some other uh, person's opinion. That's not a, the case. It feels like with the Knight of Swords. He might be telling you, hey, be aware, be cautious. Someone also may be wanting to speak to you, but they're not sure here how to, to move forward. Okay, so what is the High Priest? What is the High Priest here, please? Oh my God, Scorpio. Yeah, it might be between you and someone else that you've been hanging and you feel like you should not get that wish fulfillment yet it's like something that you feel concerned too good to be true this is something from the divine you're going to get that wish fulfillment god 
<laughs> manifest. I keep saying it because even the Nine of Cups is coming as make that wish. Not exactly what you want, but it feels like someone that has been hanging and holding back here. Do not be afraid. Manifest, make the wish. You have divine help. What is the Ace of Cups, please? What is the Ace of Cups? Okay. Now, for some of you, really, this might mean a pregnancy. It is a general reading. So for others, this is the most creative, abundant month here for you guys. In talents, in hobbies, uh, in love. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. I don't know if it's been... Uh, Someone that finally wants to win you over or it feels like after you cut someone off now, it feels like love is coming in. This is the beginning here. Or of love. Unconditional love. Growth, nurturing, happiness. What is the Six of Cups, please? What is the Six of Cups? One more. That Knight of Swords, I feel like this is the plan here. That Knight of Swords and the Knight of uh, Cups. So definitely there is a situation. I don't know for some of you if you're working with a person that you have romantic feelings. Or um, you feel like you have to be more cautious how you approach this situation. It's not going to be, again, for all of you romantic. But um, the Six of Cups and the Knight of Cups are emotional, are intuitive, are nurturing. Uh, so it feels like... Maybe how you balance a situation, how you come together in your day-to-day -day life. It might be that some of you right now are not focusing on um, work for some of you here. Though, again, there's an opportunity. You might be focusing on something else here that you enjoy, that you want to do, and does not have to be directly here with uh, work. That might be, again, you might be choosing right now to focus on something else. For others here, I feel like how you bring together when it comes to these talents, this collaboration here, and also kind of still maintain um, this nurturing, loving, empathetic attitude. Yeah, there's a fear. For some of you might, might have avoided if there's been a love situation going on here. What is the Ten of Cups? I don't know if you have to choose love and something else. What is the Ten of Cups, please? Okay, if you have not been able, yes, if you have not been able here with the Ace of Cups is coming as new beginnings with you and your person to kind of not be sure if this is going to lead to that happily ever after and it's been a lot of self-reflection, feeling, you know, um, trapped, that's not the case. It feels like someone now is finding their vision of what they want. Some of you may be feeling that you have to wrap something up here as there's this new beginning, but I feel like this is you going through this pathway of trying to understand where you want to be, where home is, where family is for some of you, or where your happiness is. With the Hermit, a lot of self-reflection, but I feel like someone is not blocked anymore, has found the light. What is the King of Pentacles, please? What is the King... Oh my God, the King of Pentacles is the Hierophant. Strong Taurus, but I feel like this is the person here that is bringing this, again, legacies, property. It can be, again, something of inheritance, money, or someone that you feel like it's meant to. It's coming as really uh, wise. What is this? The Queen of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so this is uh, someone that has a plan, or you have a plan that has been burdened here for... for Sorry, for some time, but now it feels like this is the moment. Again, faith, and I feel like there's still, because this is like a work in progress, or this is let's wait, we invested this much, what's the next goal? But it's telling you, again, it, it's been someone that has been working very hard, maintaining that optimism, and still investing. And it has to do with home, family here. What is the five of wands? What is the five of wands? One more. 
Okay. That's the struggle. It's between passive uh, kind of energy, the what if, what happened next. Again, it has to do with your beliefs because the Three of Cups is coming in here, bringing all this together. So I don't know if you're worried what's going to happen. Going back to this knowledge, going back here to uh, opening up or something here that you want to explore, this person even kind of struggling here to send a message, is like it's a little bit of tension in that area of your life. Again, the Five of Wands is with, um, I need to win, I need to be on Earth, I need to, to see here, so maybe the competition is because of worry of other things going on. But it feels like someone that wants to explore, wants to open up, wants to send a message here. Or you've been feeling like I even traveling here that I've been considering something, but I don't know. Maybe there will be some restriction coming in. All right. So what is the Ace of Pentacles, please? What is the Ace of Pentacles? One more. Guys, wow. It has to do here with your daily life work routine. Are you going to feel like this is a chance for you to go back to something you always enjoyed? Or again, I keep getting that connections are going to be very important to you guys. The King of Wands is bringing that Ace of Wands here. I may be also reading from the masculine point of view here towards the feminine. Again, look at it as how it confirms here what's going on in your life. But this is beautiful again sun in scorpio and that king of wands is looking at that ace of wands is like wow you know we arrived finally at this destination now it's like something is starting as more tangible but yeah connections are going to affect your career uh, your work here your one-on-one -on -one connection as well romantic or business but a happy place for you, Scorpio. Really, truly happy place. Past life for some of you feels like. What is the Seven of Pentacles? Okay, so really, truly here. Yep, I felt like I need to get one more. Um, that's why when it comes to these wishes, goals, is that can be a little bit self-sabotaging or fear. That seven of pentacles knows that certain things need time. I don't know if it's like, okay, I need to hear here with a page of source. I need to kind of find um, the right information. Remember, there's something fearful here uh, or worry about how you communicate or how you go towards it that you kind of feel um, cautious. The, the will of fortune tells me that someone is waiting for rewards, is waiting for good luck, is waiting for a change soon. But this is like observing, working with what you have, whatever those goals, networking, friends here, especially that king of pentacles, because someone feels right now captured or kind of afraid. I feel like that's going to go because again, the seven of pentacles knows that rewards are coming in. But some of you may be felt trapped or kind of had to hold back here waiting for the right opportunity waiting for that faded situation to come in that's what kind of it feels i don't know if someone is observing and waiting social media as well for the right moment here what is this three of wands what is this three of wands Okay, so someone definitely, remember I said uh, in the beginning there was that five of cups with uh, nine of cups. So someone, and it might be or you or your person here, or this king of pentacles that came twice, or the king of wands, um, that has been kind of going through this loss, grief, or kind of feeling like maybe this is a farewell, feel, feeling left out or fearful here. That's what he's telling you. Someone is still waiting. He's going through this crisis. It's kind of trying to understand. But it's like the waiting of getting out of all these challenges. Especially because it's also for some of you tied to your home. Anything about relocation here with a Hierophant. That's that waiting. Getting out of this feeling left out. Alright, so what is the Knight of Pentacles, please? One more. <laughs> oh, okay. I feel like for most of you, uh, you know here that there's going to be a renewal or a new beginning. 
uh, waiting for the shipments to come in. It's like someone maybe has taken the, the, the long road here because I can see that Knight of Pentacles is like, hmm, I'll take the long road because it's much safer. Uh, but with the intention again of new beginnings here, financially and when it comes to creative situations or when it comes to love. Uh, those are the possible energies here or again remember you have free will if there's one area that you liked you're on the right pathway here open your heart uh, for the new beginning if you feel like there's something here that you don't like you work with that energy um, i truly appreciate all of you guys again wishing you a great month ahead happy birthday to everybody bye bye